as you can see, presented by Nintendo. Yeah, and anyone with any sort of experience with the Super Nintendo can understand what game this is, and we're starting a brand new adv Wait a minute. What is that? What is all that nonsense? Well, that is the Japanese title screen of uh, Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. And the reason why it's in Japanese is because this is a randomizer that, according to popular lore, was built for speedrunners. I don't know why exactly. The uh, accepted answer is that the Japanese text scrolls faster. Uh, in my experience, it absolutely does not, so I don't know what they're talking about. But it is random. Every single item in the game... This is my uncle telling me that he's leaving and to stay inside. But every single item in the game that is in one of these boxes, or one of the big boxes, or given to you by an NPC, or left sitting out in the middle of nowhere, has been swapped around. That means... This box could contain, you know, the blue tunic, or it could contain the lantern like it's supposed to. Uh, what do we get? We get $20. 20 rupees. Thank you. Thank you, guy. Uh, the One of the things that did change is that this will always be a full magic restore, and these two things will always be fairies, so whenever you want to restart from here, you will essentially always have full magic and life, so that's good. Now... I'm not really a Zelda person. This is the last Zelda game that I played, uh, as far as, you know, Zelda games go. Like, I played the first couple on Nintendo, I played this one, and that's about it. So if you were expecting me to start doing, you know, Let's Plays of Zelda games, you're going to be waiting a long time, because I really will only ever get to that if I literally run out of other things to play. There are so many games that I could play. But that's the castle. This is where he went. We need to go. This is the only place we can go. Every other path is blocked by other guards or some other bonus thing. He's telling me that he died. Or he's dying. I don't know what could have possibly killed him. There's nothing here. But he gives me a sword and shield. And now I can... <laughs> yeah. So as far as like... Z uh, Zelda mechanics and lore and whatnot, I'm not going to be talking about any of that because I simply don't know it. If you really want any of that stuff, you can always go check out B-Dude. He does all the Zelda stuff. I believe he's on Majora's Mask right now. In the timeline order. And this chest contains bombs, which I do need. Uh, so, yeah, you'll notice that, like, even though I can get any really item that I need... Or any, you know, cons uh... Oh, damn it. <laughs> I want to hit these guys with bushes. Yeah. Guards take two bushes to die. I believe they take a pot, but... I just want to kill them. And go into the castle. Uh, but yeah, any... Since it, swa it removes all the items, including uh, big chest dungeon items, that all of the consumables, like money... Bombs, arrows are all swept around too, so that you can actually get, you know, you can open a boss chest and get the compass for the dungeon. As far as I know, for rules, that every dungeon obviously has a compass, a map, and a big key. Those are all still within the dungeon, but they might not be in the same place. Any chest that would be a key, which I think this one is, uh, you can also get some other way in the room. This is warp. <laughs> Or bombs. But yeah, so let's just keep on going. We have to rescue Zelda. That's our first objective. I mean, I have to tell you because the game can't tell you because it's in Japanese. So unless you can read kanji, you know, just follow what I'm doing. Uh, I'm doing this because, quite frankly, everybody else is doing it, and it seems like a lot of fun, and you guys like watching me get frustrated at stuff, so this is probably just going to be one giant series of Genrage videos, because with my luck of the RNG that you all are well aware of, uh, I, something bad will happen. I don't believe you can get stuck, at least completely. Uh, the website this game actually, uh, you download the, the randomizer from, 
gives you tips on other ways to do things if you think you're stuck. There's a key there, and we get the map for Hyrule Castle. <laughs> uh, yeah, so... Stuff. I don't know why that... I don't know why this room is here. They could have easily put the stairs, <laughs> like, on the previous floor. But there's very few ways to get stuck. I think one of the possible ways is, is if the mirror ends up on the top of Death Mountain, where, like, after you're supposed to use it the first time, where that heart piece is. Like, if the mirror ends up up there, you can get stuck, because I don't think there's any way to get up there other than that. But other than that, you know, there's other ways to do things. Hello, Zelda. She's talking to me about the wise men and whatever, and can we escape? Obviously, the top answer is always yes. A free key! Hooray! But now we have to bring her back to the first floor, because that's where the exit is. Can't take her out the front door, that would just be ludicrous. But yeah, just go up, back up to the first floor, move the... Uh, thing behind the throne to the right, and we can escape with her. That's all. I mean, I'm telling you that because that's what she told you in the text there. Obviously, I can't tell you to go back and pause and read it because it's in Japanese, and it's unlikely you'll be able to. But yeah, this was the... Uh, like, after this, like, I owned a Nintendo 64. I believe I talked about this in a Castlevania video, but I owned a Nintendo 64 for not very long. I don't know if Ocarina of Time was out, but if it was, I didn't purchase it, so I couldn't play it. But after that, I stopped playing Nintendo because Final Fantasy moved over to Sony, so, like, that was where all my time went. And I don't think I'm particularly good at this game. Um, I have a mostly working knowledge. She's telling us the throne room is up from here. I have mostly working knowledge of how to do the game, like, legit, uh, you know, dungeon to dungeon and whatnot, and I can get through the game fairly easily for the most part. Uh, this is what she means here, she's telling you to push it from the left. But, other than that, you know, if I get stuck, I'll probably be like, oh, I got stuck, I don't know what to do. Now, this thing right here, this little light beam that's in front of him, you'd not have if you didn't have the lamp. Now, the first, like, three chests in the game will give you the lamp if you don't have it. So, by now, you're unless you've willfully, like, not gotten it, you would have had it. But obviously this is random, so you might not have it at all. So they just added that you have this, like, automatically. And the only thing the lamp does for you now is... Lights little fires. Dude, where am I supposed to go? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm good at this game. I don't know. No, terrible. Okay, money. Uh, a couple other changes. You've noticed that um, the money now has a fourth digit. Meaning that you can actually go above 999. And that is because crap. Get the ropes are killing me, man. That is because uh, since there are several instances in the game where you can get 100 rupees, 300 rupees you know, in bunches and it's random, you can't plan for it, so, you know, I might have 700 rupees, and then get 100, and then immediately get a 300, and be like, oh man, a couple of those are wasted, because I didn't know where to go spend money. So they just added it so you have up to 10,000 rupees to fix that problem. So unless you really grind for some money, it's unlikely you're going to run into that issue. Alright, what is in here? Heart piece. Heart pieces are still... All the items in this game are still exactly the same. So, really, not much has changed. Um, is there... I think you're supposed to get the key either in that chest or an enemy is supposed to drop it. Oh, well, whatever. I managed to make it through. I don't care. Or maybe they put the key elsewhere in the dungeon. I don't know. Uh, this, she says something about, this is the sewers, we're almost out of here. Beat it once, uh, he was streaming this the other day, and he said something about, like, it has to smell in the throne room if 
you know, the sewers are like right behind it. It's like, I don't think they're that close. Alright, now the reason why I, I kind of lucked out and got bombs is because in a little while there's going to be a place where there's a couple bombable walls and typically you don't have bombs coming through here because no, no enemies drop them and there's none in the dungeon itself. And there's three treasure chests in there, which means that there are three items you could possibly get. So the fact that I have bombs actually is a great thing. I'm probably going to un get unlucky and draw some junk, but... I'm killing all these enemies because they might drop a key. And an extra key would be helpful. I think this one... Yeah, there's... Nope. Where are you? I know you're here somewhere. There it is. How did I miss that the first time? Uh, anyway. So, yeah. Last Zelda game I played. Last Zelda game I have any real experience with. And we'll see where it goes. Because we all know the RNG is going to do me wrong every chance that it gets. Typically, you'd need either bombs or the Pegasus boots to actually... Yeah, hey, the hookshot. Alright. Another piece of heart. And 100 rupees. Uh, this first episode is probably going to be a little long because we're. I'm going to get. I'm going to show you how to start the game at, with the randomizer. Uh, I will leave my seed number, which will allow you once you, if you have the randomizer, to play this particular uh, randomized version. I don't know why you'd want to if you're watching me do it. It'd probably be more fun to play your own, but if that's what you want. Yeah. Okay, you freaking rats. Yeah. You know what? Pot, thank you. <laughs> now it's principal, you have to die. You need a heart? No? Heart. Oh, of course not. I don't get why there's pots with nothing underneath them. Uh, she's telling you to pull one of the levers. And you're, the reason why you're supposed to know is because she won't tell you this message right here, which tells you how to pull it, unless you go in front of this one. If you go in front of the other one and you pull that lever, it uh, spawns a bunch of ropes, or a bunch of rats, one or the other. I'm not going to pull it because I don't feel like it. And just like that, we are in the sanctuary, which is where we were supposed to take her. And this guy's like, ah, you've made it. Thank you for your help. And he's going to talk more about sages and tell you to go meet uh, the, seven, or the seven wise men and... They sealed Ganon and the Golden Land and all sorts of nonsense and tell you to go to Kakariko to see Sahasrala to talk about it because I'm the chosen hero of everything. Do you understand? Yes. And this is... Oh, more money. Money has a, a more impactful purpose in this game. I mean, even though you can't quote-unquote buy the flippers from the Zora because there will be a random item. They will at least know that if you have 500 rupees and the power glove to get up there, that you can actually go there and get a random item. So if you get stuck thinking, oh man, I don't know where to go, I can't go here because of this, I can't go here because I don't have that, and you think, well, I have 500 rupees, let's go see Zora. Alright, so once you get out of the sanctuary, the first thing I usually do is throw bushes at, or throw bushes at these guys, because it's funny. Death by plant life. Uh, the first thing I usually do is... Kakariko goes to the south, but the first thing I do is come up north because we want to kill this bird. Uh, you have this thing here, and if you go down there, it just leads you nowhere. So if you drop down here, I think this is just a pretty decent spot for... Nope, there's a... Ooh, we get the Moon Pearl. That's typically supposed to be a piece of heart. Uh, this guy just tells you, hey, uh, I'm a thief. Don't get my hat out. So we have the Moon Pearl now, which is great. Uh, but you want to come this way and go up and to the left a little bit, and there should be an item. It's 50 rupees, but this is supposed to be the Magic Mushroom. I mean, you know. Every time you see a consumable, bombs, arrows, uh, money, you think, oh man, that's terrible. But that just means that there's a chest later in the game that normally would have that, that will have something else. So it's sort of hit or miss. 
All right, now let's go per... Uh, let me show you, I guess, for the first episode, the final two places in Kakariko that are good to, you know, if you start the game. Uh, this is, I think the village is down there. So let's go down there. Now, the first objective you're supposed to do, you press the X button, you pull up the map there, it tells you to go into this house, and you meet some old lady. And I'll show you that next time, but you want to go into this greenhouse right here. Uh, you talk to this guy, he mentions about some thief hating light or something nonsense. I don't think it, it's not important until way later. I don't know why they put that guy there. But there's four more treasure chests and one behind this wall. So you blow that up, you come in here. These are all money. And we get more bombs. Hooray! So let's see if we can figure this out. That down. Just down that way. That way. This way, that way. Okay, that those two are free. And if you this and that, all treasure chests are free. So more bombs. Hooray! Another third piece of heart. More money. And the Book of Medora. We can now actually enter Dungeon 2. Can't complete Dungeon 2 without the Power Glove, but you can enter it now, at least. Uh, to complete Dungeon 1, you need the bow, so I'm hoping I get that pretty soon. That's a lot. Of, that's some things that a lot of people do in this era that are also playing this have uh, sort of had gotten bad luck because they missed out on the bow. Now there's four treasures down here and another wall. And we just skipped straight to the Titans, Mint. Why not? Uh, that's going to make things a lot easier because now I can lift up uh, dark colored rocks like right from the get go. So, you know, thanks, RNG. The Pegasus shoes. <laughs> now I can dash. Ugh. More money. More bombs. And more money. So, yeah, um, Kakariko, I got very lucky. Uh, and I got to, I guess. 20 minutes isn't too bad. Let's go finish off what you can get in the village here. This guy wants to... And he gives me the upgraded shield. Hooray! Uh, let's go to Grandma's house. And blow up her wall. Sorry, chicken. Or er, they have a Kukos, I think is their name. And we just get more bombs. All right, uh, one more thing. And it's this house right here, the back door. Enter. There's a chicken. And we grab... Ah, uh, so we have a fourth heart. All right, so uh, we have a pretty good start right now. Four hearts, uh, Pegasus Shoes, the Titan's Mitt, the Moon Pearl, Hookshot, Bombs, the Book of Medora. We're... To upgrade a shield we're doing very well so that's it for this episode of let's play link to the past japanese randomizer and thank you guys so much for watching thanks for all your support and have a good night